Okay, just thought I'd do a uh, little unboxing here. We've got the Vixia HF R700. Nice little camera. Um, no internal hard drive in this bad boy, so you will need a memory card. Come on, get out of there. All right, let's see what we got here. One T card. We have continue the packet. I don't know what that is. Let's open this up. We have the camera. Pretty. All right, I'll take this thing off of here. Come on, get up there. There. Now you're off of there. Not gonna need that. Not gonna need that. This, I assume, is probably the manual in 47 different languages, or a link to it, or something. Close to it, there are generally manuals get tossed out. Uh, register now to get exclusive benefits. Normally, I would just toss something like this right out, but cameras like these often have um, software updates, so sometimes it's a good idea just to keep that stuff on hand. Okay, transfer utility, which I will probably not be using because this camera will use. Uh, it'll use the MP4 format and the AVCHD format. I generally go MP4 so I can directly upload to YouTube. If you use the AVHCD, you're going to need the software and the utility. Okay. That one's in French. Hey, English. And it's going to tell me my package contents. Give me a brief overview. Oh, big sheet of paper. So basically shows you what's in there and, and it's like a El Cheapo version of a manual. Getting started, important usage instructions, how to use your HDMI cable, that kind of rot. All right, shove that stuff over there. Backing over here, not here. All right, we have a HDMI cable. The HDMI cable goes to standard size HDMI to the mini HDMI, which is going to plug in right there. So hook this up, theoretically. Gonna hook this up, just a little tight. Come on. Oh, it'd be better if I got pointed in the right direction. There. That's better. Hook that up. Then connect it up to your TV for your viewing pleasure. Which they seldom do. What we got here? Power supply. We'll flip out. This charges the batteries on board. Open that up. And where's that going to connect up? That's over here somewhere, I think. Yep. So that will connect up here, notched. Hey, got that first shot. Excellent. What else we got in the package? All right, got a battery. In we have USB. And that's it for that. All right. Put the battery on. Uh, the USB cable may or may not use, depending on how you want to do this. Many laptops have an SD card slot. So, wow, battery's already up and rolling. So you can just take your SD card out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the SD card in there. SD cards in, and now we're at the point where it's giving us 
um, what you want to do with languages and that kind of rock. So I do that. It's a touch screen. We go forward. I should actually plug this thing in because it really. Okay, I have a handy dandy outlet underneath this table. Just hold that down, I think. Maybe. Nope. Gotta keep tapping it. 24th, 2016. Okay. What time is it? Every time up. I'm surprised you can you can't hold it. Normally you can just hold these things, but there we go. 3 p.m. I can do a 24 hour time if you want. Come on. Hmm. Apparently you can't. Why not? There. Apparently I'm just pressing it too quickly. Okay. That's ready to go. I'm on MP4, which is probably what I'll end up using. Settings complete. Tells you what its settings are. Check whether the lens cover is open. These have a little switch here on the side. Now it's open. Press the button. You see the numbers are moving. Well, you probably can't see the numbers are moving. There, now you can see the numbers are moving. I can show you on the tripod. And then I can stop it. And then I can hit the play button on the side. And it'll bring up a little menu. Once again, going back to the touch screen. Trying to find the thing for the volume here. Good. Well, I think this will be a cool camera. It's got a lot of different features on it. Small. As soon as you close the window, it shuts off, and then it goes into charge mode. So I'm going to let this little bugger charge, and we'll probably uh, go out and do some shooting with it. Make sure to close this up. Another interesting distinction, differing it from its hard drive brethren, is that this one actually has a threaded ring on it so you can put a filter in there. So I'll probably put a neutral density filter on here just to keep junk from getting um, inside of there. Because you can see there's quite the gap inside of there. And you can, that'll load up. You don't want any junk inside of that because that that will be problems. So I will put a neutral density on this. But other than that, pretty cool. I'll let you know how it does.